Hi guys and welcome along to a, another video. Uh, today we have a crit race from 2018. This was the first year that I started riding. And I did a lot of riding in this year and did a lot of different stuff to what I'm doing now. A lot of uh, speed work, a lot of stuff around sprints and all that kind of stuff. Just to really build up my riding when I first started. Now this race is the New Zealand Defence Force and Police Criterium as part of the uh, Taupo Cycle Classic. Um, so they do a pro race after this race as well, as well as uh, the regular uh, ride around Lake Taupo the next day. Really cool course. Uh, I can't remember exactly how long, maybe 1.7k loop uh, in the Taupo CBD. Um, you can see obviously it was a beautiful evening for this race and we as the New Zealand Army team certainly had the stronger team here so what you can see currently happening and it's all happening pretty quick um, is me bridging across to a three-man break of my teammates our plan early on was to kind of get a break up the road with a few of us I was meant to be in the initial break however the way that the race um, kind of panned out previously that didn't happen so I had to go a bit later so you would have seen at the start of the video I um, bridged up to one of the Air Force guys who was trying to make an attack and then I bridged by attacking myself and got up to the army team. Now we were by far the strongest team in this race so this strategy was pretty simple to kind of pull off and then the race more or less came down to the four of us. Uh, what you'll see is that we ended up dropping one of our compatriots um, pretty early on so at this point there is only three of us left um, and we had to play a pretty interesting game to kind of get there now I was certainly the weakest sprinter of the group I'm probably overall the second strongest cyclist in this little group um, with a guy you can see in front of me being the strongest uh, but the one behind he was probably the strongest sprinter so it was certainly going to be a tough race to uh, win should I have to come to the line and, and battle these guys out in a sprint. So now what we've got here is the final lap and I'll break down what happens. So you can see all the stats on the right hand side there um, as we've come through with one lap to go. Now there's three of us and I'm sitting on the second wheel coming in through these corners mainly so that I can follow any early attack that might happen from the guy in front of me uh, and it's kind of a nice spot to be means that I can kind of see things going on but what I decided is that I need to do a long range attack so coming on to the kind of back straight here I just kind of start chilling see what's going on and I actually end up letting the other guy come in front of me so I'm behind everybody now from that position I can see everything that's happening but best of all I can make a surprise attack so when I go I launch it hard now 1100 watts here is pretty much my max sprint um, and I did get a little bit of a gap here which was nice because it was a bit of an unexpected attack coming into the bend here I still had a gap and by the time we got into the hairpin it had closed up a bit so I had to kind of make a second wee attack coming out of the hairpin to be able to put some distance and because I got to pick my own line and I was on the front this was pretty easy to do and then from here I really just had to hold on and go as hard as I possibly could uh, to keep the gap now I think I put out about 700 watts for 30 seconds here and because I had the gap it meant it was enough to kind of hold off the rest of the bunch but man it was a, it was a tough effort you can see my heart rate there I don't think I've ever got my heart rate that high and I think I won by about half a bike length maybe a bike length um, at, at the line with with uh, the sprint finish so so if you like this please like and subscribe and also comment what your best 30 second power is um, and I'll try and make some more videos like this so we can see some race footage or some riding footage and get this point of view otherwise I'll see you soon stay safe